diabetes is a disease that runs in families if both parents are diabetics almost 100% of the children will become diabetic basically diabetes is two types one is type 1 other is type 2 type 1 usually children get in type 2 90 95% of the diabetes is type 2 diabetes and usually it the adults get affected out of the uh, population diabetes is diagnosed we used to feel that this diabetes is forever but with the effective lifestyle changes now there are means and measures by which we can reverse even diabetes even after its onset this is lifestyle measures hence proper lifestyle proper diet regular exercise and systematic positive thinking these are essential for control of diabetes or rather durable reversal of diabetes in long run Diabetes during pregnancy is a common practice and a common problem. It's called gestational diabetes. Diabetes comes only during pregnancy and after delivery diabetes disappears. And it is very very important to keep the blood sugar levels under control for all the women with gestational diabetes. So these are some of the deleterious effects mainly on the baby, on the growing baby. The blood that is the feeding that goes to the small baby inside the womb. When the blood with high sugar goes to the baby, the baby pancreas will produce more insulin and this leads to many problems particularly macrosomia. The bigger babies to the dates the baby is expected to have some weight and size according to the gestational age but it will be bigger than that. So this is one of the very important problem with uh, uncontrolled gestational diabetes. So it is very very important for strictly controlling blood sugar levels during gestation and this happens sheet anchor for maintaining this is most important is diet and diet. So strict diet is at most important. Diabetes in women has certain specific issues. Those who become pregnant with diabetes, it is mandatory that their blood sugar levels should be strictly controlled. This is not gestation about gestational diabetes, this is about diabetes even before becoming pregnant and if they become pregnant, they must strictly control the either by diet or insulin, their sugar levels very strictly. And when it comes to diabetes in women, Women suffer relatively, their quality of life suffers more than men. They may get recurrent vaginal and urinary infections if sugars are not under control. They may get early menopause if somebody having diabetes. And they can get more heart attacks and more cardiovascular risk and more kidney disease as well if because of the recurrent infections because of the early menopause certain of the hormones are depleted and they get, they are more prone for recurrent infections and, and also the, the vascular disease like heart attacks, brain strokes and kidney diseases, blindness all these are possible. So women relatively suffer more in terms of quality of life. Diabetes is a disease that is inherited from the family members at the same time it can 
be sporadic it can be genetic mutations or it can simply can happen because of the lifestyles only lifestyle matches so what is important is if somebody has diabetes his children will have the genes that can get diabetes but when the genes suit with environmental conditions that is the lifestyle and the circumstances food habits stress levels all these put together can make somebody prone to diabetes so basically there are two types type 1 type 2 there are certain rare types called maturity onset diabetes in young there are certain secondary diabetes like post pancreatic diabetes or uh, after steroid therapy certain of the drugs can produce diabetes uh, a long term institution of certain drugs can cause diabetes and even without any reason one can get diabetes